It was a part of our lives, you know. It was a part of our journey. Don't and start crying again, woman. <laughs> it's just emotional, you know. What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From London, the UK, planet Earth. We are back from LA. We loved our time in LA, didn't we? Yeah, we had a great time. We've had a few days of like trying to get back to England times. Bit, bit of jet lag, haven't we, Jojo? Yeah, I've bit. been having some serious jet lag. Some serious jet lag. We're not talking about joking jet lag here, serious jet lag. Mummy's getting stuck at the back there, isn't it? <laughs> Jojo's gone now, hello. But we are happy to be back because we have entered that Christmas period now. It is coming up to Christmas time. We're all very, very excited. Let us know in the comments below. Are you excited about Christmas? What are your plans? Or even if you don't celebrate Christmas, what are your plans for the December or festive period? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing about all of your stories and things you guys are getting up to. Happy birthday to Hench Herbivore. We were with him yesterday and Gemma and a few others, a few other friends. We had a lovely day, went to the Lego shop. Yeah, Hench bought you a present for his birthday, didn't he? Yeah. Isn't that cool that you get a present on someone else's birthday? Yeah. Only you. How did you figure that? Out, eh? Yeah, how did you manage to get that in your favour? What? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo's gone. And so yeah, we're happy to be back. Happy to see some of our guests who have been keeping the house warm. Scaredy cat, how have you been? Absolutely splendiferous. And of course, good old Raven Raven. What have you been up to while we've been gone, Raven Raven? Oh, blimey, same old then. I hope you kept the noise down. What about our new friend? Yes, we have a new house guest, of course. The Funicon! labeled as Dookie, but we want you guys to decide a cool name for the Funicorn. It could be something Funicorn related, it could be Funi. Funi's a good one, I Yeah, think. he's a Funicorn, but he needs to have a name. Yes. And if you don't know this already, he does Funicorn poo. I still can't get over that, but let us know in the comments below your recommendations for a name. You guys have the power here, use it responsibly. He looks quite startled, look. Yeah. Um. So look at his mouth, he is literally like, ah! You'd be doing that if you were doing it in a colourful poo like this, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd be very, very disturbed. But another and maybe arguably more important person that we haven't seen while we've been away <laughs> is Jamie! <laughs> She was just sat down there on her phone. How have you been, Jamie? Decent. Have you been surviving without us? No. It's no. been two weeks! I know. No, I've been trapped in a hole. Trapped in a hole? You've been staying with your boyfriend, haven't you? Yeah. We've been chatting still, weren't it, in America? Mm -hmm. She was calling us up going, when are you seeing family fears? Like, literally the day we literally. touched down there. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for the video. She thought we were hiding in their loft or something. She was like, when are you coming out? I've watched their videos. I haven't seen you there. I was like, we're not there. <laughs> but no, we're glad to be back. We're glad to be reunited. Sam was happy to see us too as well, but he's at work. Yes, we've been like crazy busy last few days. We've had a massive like house sort out. We've taken loads of things to charity shop. Yeah, we've also been sorting out some other things which we're gonna do something special with later. We'll show you that then. But you two are gonna be going out today as well, aren't you? Yes. You're gonna be doing a, is it Christmas shopping or is it just, yeah. is it a bit Christmassy shopping? It's Jamie shopping. Just Jamie shopping. Every is time it? she's always wanted me to take her shopping. <laughs> That's all we do is go shopping. Pretty much. Can't complain. We don't always buy things. Sometimes we just like to walk around the shops but I'm sure we're gonna end up buying things today because of the time of year. Christmas! And it's good as well because I think it's it, people are still in school or at work so you might get a quiet period. Mm -hmm. So the special thing that we're going to be doing is in these boxes here right? Shall I tell everyone what's in these boxes? Yeah show the free gang what we're doing. So yeah this box on top they'll probably recognize from the ABC works challenge won't they? Yeah so basically this is all stuff that we've picked up from doing ABC challenges and um, when we've done toy, toy shop things and picked up Various things from other places, I don't know. Things have been given to us by companies and things like that. And yeah, books, that was what we bought in the- ABC the, as well, ABC wasn't it? ABC challenge. Yeah, there's so many, look, so many cool things in here. And a Lego bunny. And a Lego bunny. It's not for you, Jamie. Lots of unicorn stuff, unicorn book, unicorn lantern, which I think you make yourself. You can't have enough unicorn stuff, can you? Yeah, so we've got two big boxes. That wouldn't fit in the box, but we've got two big boxes of this stuff. Jamie's having a good uh, rummage in the box. Because we did this sort out without her, so she hasn't seen the extent of everything, has she? <laughs> two hours later. No, no. no. Anyway, 
Before Jamie gets her hands on it, why don't you tell the free game where this is going to go? So, we were thinking of a good, uh... <laughs> we were thinking Stop modelling One Direction pens. Now we managed to get Jamie away from the stuff and trying to take it herself. Why don't you tell the free game where the stuff's going? We were thinking of a good charity to give all these things to, and then I remember a long, long time ago, I was in an abusive relationship and I ended up homeless with the children, the big kids. So we ended up in sort of a hostel, which is like temporary accommodation for people that have come from like abusive relationships, things like that. And it was just before Christmas and they put on a party for us and all the other families that were there. And I remember I didn't have anything, like the kids didn't have anything for Christmas that year, like nothing whatsoever. And they gave the children presents. And I remember thinking, surely like this, this is type of things for other people. And then I realized that, that this is, we are these people right now, you know? And that I think they've still got their presents now that they got, they were so small and they didn't understand what was going on. That was just such a lovely thing that, um, Oh no, just like... You're right. Yeah. Yeah, it was just such a lovely thing that they did and I just always think about other kids that are in those situations. That's all right, that's, that's why we're giving back though, isn't it? So yeah, there's... I just want to give back to the children that are in those kind of situations now because especially around Christmas, this is such an important time of year and... I'll give your mummy a hug. Yeah, it was a, yeah. So it was a it was a difficult time, and that it just meant so much to us to have that little party, that little Christmas party, and have their gifts given to them. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. So we're gonna give back to them. Um, and there's loads of really cool stuff in here. Like I said, there's a big box under here. I just have to interrupt you because look what's emerged behind you: a one gloved JoJo with a giant ball. This is what happens, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, we've got a big box under here and then we've got, uh, yeah, small, but they're all full of really cool things, so. And there's a variety, there's all different kinds all different, of things. Yeah, different ages and boys and girls, well, I'm sure there'll be something for everyone. Jamie, do you want to take this stuff there with me? Yeah, yeah, should we do that? And then we'll go shops afterwards. Mm. Yeah. This steering wheel's freezing. Do you want gloves? I've got gloves. Oh yeah, gloves, gloves. Oh, thank you. They're really warm gloves. I'm gonna have to pull over to put these gloves on, guys. They're really warm gloves. Oh, they are. Thank you. You're not keeping them. Why not? Because they're mine. Go and buy another pair. I'm keeping. I these. can't. I bought them in Holland. And they match my scarf and my hat. All right, we're heading out now, guys, to take these boxes. I hope they accept them and appreciate that. I'm sure they will, though, because there's a lot of kids that live in this place that I think will really appreciate this stuff. So, what did you get up to while we were in LA? I went to Holland. Well, the Netherlands. Oh, comment below if you're from the Netherlands. It's funny because, like, Jamie's always travelling and she doesn't always tell me when she's going somewhere. No. And I called you up to see how you were. And then there's this weird ringtone. Like, it's like a like, deep, deep. Yeah, like, boop. No, it goes boop. And I thought, oh, she's not in England, but she's in Europe somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I called her up. I was like, where are you? <laughs> Where are you, Jamie? Yeah, and she's like, oh, I'm coming home from, where was it? So we're in like, where the Euro tunnel come, like Cal, oh, is it Calais? Calais, like, Calais, yeah. I think France. I said, where are you coming? Cause I knew you were coming home from somewhere. Mm. And I said, where are you coming home from? Mm -hmm. And that's like our conversation. Where ringtone. are you? <laughs> yeah, if I get a different, different ringtone, I'm just like, where are you, Jamie? What country? No, I always say, I always say, I always say, what country are you in? Literally. You got loads going on at the moment, haven't mm -hmm. you? bit too much to be honest it's not too much it's fun stuff it is fun stuff obviously Jamie sh it. Jamie basically travels constantly this is why I said to you, you need to start a travel vlog I do but the thing is it takes effort Jamie oh, yeah. yeah this word you don't seem to understand is I effort understand it. I'm money joking <laughs> Jamie showed me her calendar and she's literally got one thing after the other but you're gonna be doing lots of fun things on the channel I am yeah over the next few weeks we've got over some really cool yeah over the christmas stuff. period we've got some really fun like challenges mm. and things coming up we're gonna do a christmas room transformation for the front, for room. The front room we're gonna just oh. basically turn it into a winter wonderland we which remember really... last time are you oh. sure you want to do this <laughs> It's going to be even better than last time. Are you going to be about for that? Hopefully. Should we do carpool karaoke? Mm. Yeah, we'll be singing. <laughs> you never want to sing, but you'd always enjoy it when, you, when we start. All right, we'll be singing. Let's think of a Christmas song. No. Christmas song. No. 
It's that Mariah Carey one. I don't want a lot for Christmas. <laughs> there is just one thing I need. And I, I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you should ever know. Make my wish come true. Oh baby, all I want for Christmas is you. You, baby. I want for Christmas is you, baby. The Mariah Carey is like, oh, voice. Mariah Carey, imagine being able to sing like Mariah Carey. <laughs> da la da la da la da la da la. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, just because you can sing doesn't mean to say you can get famous at singing. It's very true. And I know some people that can sing amazingly, but they don't want to be famous nope. as well. They just want to like singing for themselves. <laughs> anyway, guys, comment below. What's your favorite Christmas song? Mm. I think there's this one by George Michael, which is my favorite. And I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but it's definitely my favorite. Oh, I really like the power of love as well. The power of love. Is that a Christmas song now? I, do, I don't know if it's a Christmas song, but it always gets played at Christmas. I don't listen to enough Christmas songs to know what it is. Well, we're going to be listening to a lot of Christmas songs on Christmas Day, so be prepared. Right, we're here now, guys. Obviously, I can't vlog going in there or anything like that or surrounding area because these are families that are at risk and this is a safe place for them. So I'm just going to take the, the things in and I'll be back. Are you going to wait in the car? I will wait in the car. Yeah, all right then. See you in a minute. Later. Done it? Yeah. Oh. They, they accepted the things. We're talking years ago I was at this place. I said, do you still have the Christmas party? And they said, yes, they still have it. And I just met a lady and she's been there for a year with her baby. She's got a little, little boy. Yeah, and they just really appreciated all the things. And it's just lovely that they still do that. They still do the party for the kids and mm. everything. Yeah, that was quite emotional going in there. Just and I remember being out the front and they met, like we made like a massive caterpillar. Like the, the year we were here, it was snowing. Snowing, and we met yeah. so much. And like we were we riding, we massive caterpillars, and we sat on top of them like these big balls, like huge yeah. white snowballs. Yeah, it was so cool. It was a hard time in our lives, but we did have a good time. Mm. We did we? You know, we made the best of it, and we didn't have much. It was a part of our lives, you know. It was, it was a part of our journey. Don't and start crying again, woman. <laughs> It's just emotional, you know. I feel like I want to do more for them now, you know. Mm. Especially now I've met someone and she's been there for so long. We weren't there for that long, no. no. But anyway, guys, right, should we, do you want to go to the shops then and have a look go. around? Awesome. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Jamie just got excited because Sports Direct are having a sale and I'm like, their whole shop is a sale. It's like they're constantly having a sale. Always a sale. What are we here for, trainers? I actually prefer JD Sports. They are nice. The trainers in there are nicer. Well, they're more expensive. Oh, that's a the point. They're nice. Do you want them for Christmas? They can be. Are you dancing? Yeah. She's dancing. The weirdest thing has happened. Jamie's feet have shrunk. Right. How? I don't know. It used to be like a size seven. And now I'm size five. They actually are a size five now. Oh, yeah. And I'm in juniors. Yeah, she's in juniors, so it's cheaper. Oh, Jamie, look. Shiny pink ones. No. Nah. So we're going in Home Sense and TK Maxx. I didn't know it was called Home Sense as well. Oh, Christmas stuff! Christmas stuff! Where are you going? What's upstairs? <laughs> oh, that kind of stuff. What are you looking for, babe? More blankets? Jamie, look! A pink shiny dog to match your pink shiny trainers that you, that you didn't get. <laughs> How cute is that? He's, really cute. he's heavy. He's I was going to say he's a doorstop. He's really heavy. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice sofa, Jamie. What does it say? Snuggle. Snuggle. What have you found there, Jamie? Like. Oh, that's really nice. It's all like different colours. I might get this. I'll buy a few for Christmas, all right? Jamie, can we look at the clothes, please? Can we grab Yeah, come on. Okay. I'll get you something nice for Christmas, yeah? Jamie, a sloth. Oh. No, we're not getting the sloth. I'll buy him for you for Christmas. I don't want the sloth. Oh. I have too many cuddlies. As much as I do want the sloth. No. You do actually, you're right. Well done, you do have too many cuddlies. Right, do you want to look at clothes or not? No, not really. 
come on then, let's go. That was a pointless shopping trip. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, we bought one thing. I actually tried to find Bob some trainers in JD Sports, but they all the ones they had were these ones with that, these massive heels on them. Mm. And like, yeah, they weren't very nice. I don't think he likes them. It's funny because uh, every time me and Jamie go shopping, she's like, oh, can you buy me this? Can you buy me that? And then I'm trying to buy her stuff because it's Christmas and there's nothing she wants. She, I was like, do you want this? No. Do you want this? No. Do you want this? But I did manage to get her this, which is really nice. It doesn't look that good on the camera as it looks in real life, but it looks so cool in real life. Yeah, it's really nice. The only trouble is when your kids get bigger, like they know everything they're getting for Christmas. You can't give them any surprises. No, surprises don't work anymore. They don't work when you're older. Well, uh, maybe I'll surprise you with something. Let's Don't see. think about this. So it was on offer from nine ninety nine to eight to five to three. It, you were meant to have it then. It was only three pounds. You can't moan at that, oh, can God. you? Anyway, should we go home? Yes, we should. Right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello, -y. We're back. Why don't you talk to me like that? I don't know. Has anything exciting happened while we've been gone? You've actually come back a lot more light-handed than you usually do. I know. Nice. I only bought one thing. This. <laughs> Is that like a skull face? Yeah. What's this, Day of the Dead? So Jamie for Christmas. Oh, okay. Does she know about it? She does now. Okay. Yes, we've been having some creative time. Oh, I can see that from the mess. What have you been doing, Jojo? Playing with this. Been playing with all that, have you? Yeah. Yeah, we're making like mine shaft structures. Mine shaft structures, and then knocking them down? Yeah. Hmm, I can see that. So no sooner have these two got back, have we probably got to pop out again, because we've got an interesting job to do in posting a letter. Because we found something very interesting when we come back. You know when you go away on holiday, you come back and you find loads of mail. Like 30 pieces of mail we came back to. And you know, it's offers, bills, whatever. We come back being told that we are being fined for speeding in our car. Very interestingly, while we were away in America yeah. with our car keys on us. And apparently not only that, we weren't just speeding in London, apparently we were up in Liverpool. We haven't even been to Liverpool in ages. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, we love Liverpool, but yeah. we haven't been there for ages. So yeah, we've got to now send a letter to Cheshire uh, Constabulary saying that it wasn't us and we can prove it. We don't speed anyway. Yeah, but are you sure you didn't pop out from Hollywood, get on a plane, head back, drive up to Liverpool, and then decide to speed around the town, and then come back to London, get back on the plane, and then just come back into the hotel room without me noticing. That would be a mission. So that's another. Okay, I confess, I did it. Knew it. So we're gonna go out, post this letter that we didn't speed in Liverpool. You sure you haven't put a secret note confessing in there? Ignore what he says. Just take the money. And uh, we're going to take Jojo to the park as well before it gets too late. Yes. We're going to come back. A little adventure. And have some yummy, yummy dinner. Later. So we're back from a nice fun run around in the park. And posting a letter. And posting a letter. Don't forget, very important letter of why Katie disappeared to Liverpool. Captain Mill here was waiting at the door for us. And we did actually mention about her earlier when you guys saw her. A lot of you may be wondering, I didn't know they have a cat. I actually seen some comments saying that. Haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If any of you are new to the channel, this is not our cat. She basically, it's really funny what she's doing right now. I know, she's just sat in, cats can't find the weirdest positions, don't they? Yeah. Well, she's cleaning herself, it's not weird yeah. to her. Oh. Off she goes, come back. Yeah, she's not actually our cat. She lives with a neighbour, but, well, she kind of lives with us. She lived with one of our neighbours. That's her original owner. But <laughs> she's been spending time with us. She's been coming to our place for about a year now. Hmm. She even had kittens here. We had to say to the lady, you know, you need to get her done and everything um, so that she can't have any more kittens. Cause she, it happened twice, didn't it? Yeah, first time she was pregnant here and then went back and had the kittens there. Second time here, wasn't it? Yeah, we actually did film it. Roll the clip. <laughs> So we have, we eventually spoke to the lady and said, look, she's had a couple of pregnancies now. Do you need to, you know, see about her having the operation to prevent her from getting pregnant again? Mm. Which has now happened, hasn't it? Yeah, I thought it was done ages ago. Yes, now really I know nice. it has because she's got this, like, shaved area, like a square of shaved area there. But I'm surprised she didn't get pregnant in the meantime. But yeah. I don't know, she's been spending more time than ever here for some reason. Warm here, it's fun here. She, almost, she followed us down the park pretty much all the way and we were like, no, we're, we're getting near the road, go yeah. back. 
Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. I think we're loud. I'm, th I'm like, why would, why would an animal choose to spend time with us? I feel like we are loud, a loud family. Speak for yourself. People always say, oh, is your cat vegan as well? And we're like, we actually don't know because mm. she still goes back to there to get her food yeah. and then comes back to us again. That bit we don't have to worry about. We get the best deal, don't we? We just get all of our cuddles and love and attention. And when we're away traveling, like one of the teens will always be here to keep her company as well. Anyway, we're going to get some dinner on now, mummy. I've got dinner on. Good. Get it in my mouth then. Oh, lovely dinner, mummy. Got us a little chickpea curry. Chickpea curry is one of my favourite foods, man. Favourite meals. You, I you think you asked for it, didn't you? Yeah. And got a salad as well. Jojo is not hungry because Bob fed him a ton of noodles earlier. No, no, no. It was a little bit of noodles, but he's had a ton of oranges since. Oh yes. It's the other way around. Thanks for the people in the comments who said about eat Russell Br Russ. <laughs> Brussels sprouts raw. It sounds like you're saying eat Russell brand. <laughs> I like Russell brand. Not that I wouldn't much. eat him. Not that much. Yeah, eat Brussels sprouts raw. Yeah, man. A couple of people said it and we were like, really? And They're we, nice. We've been having raw in our salads and they're really nice. So can I hear an alarm going off? That's the alarm of Brussels sprouts are nice. How was it today though? Um, that must have been weird going back to that place. Well, where you were t your temporary accommodation where you stayed like years ago. Yeah. Because we've driven past there, but driving in there must be really weird and going into the building. It was, and it's still after, like, it's been over 10 years and it's like, it still smells the same. Really? Yeah, it still oh. has, like, the same smell and it looks nicer. It does look nicer than when I was there. That was quite the saddest part, was going in. I didn't expect to meet anybody, but then when I met that lady, yeah, there was a, a, a single mum in there. And you never know what they've been through as well to be there. And she was on her own with, with one child. She said she's been there for a year. And I didn't know what to say to her. And I, I just said, like, I was just trying to say, like, things will get better. Don't worry. Like, this is just part of your journey being here. It was hard. It was hard. But do you think that would have helped you if someone had said that to you back then? Yeah, I think so. Because I guess back then you just don't know what the next part is. You don't mm. know what's next, do you? Yeah, because when you're homeless, you just feel like quite helpless. Sometimes you can't see an end to it all. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's quite a struggle in that sense. It must be a real struggle for people being there at this time of year. Mm -hmm. And I remember the kids didn't have any Christmas presents other than the thing that they got at that little party. Mm -hmm. Like this really, really tiny thing. I think they still have them now, which I is really Sam nice. Is Sam, I know Sam definitely has it because he has it on his computer. I was trying to reassure the lady as best I could, but it's not as easy to hear that when you're in that situation, you know? Yeah. It's just made me realize though that, you know, there's so much more we could do to help people in those situations. Yeah, I mean, this. I think overall there's so many people in what we consider a less than privileged position around Christmas. I mean, people focus on Christmas about buying and giving presents to other people, where some people can't have the basic, simple life requirements every day of the year. Yeah. So for them, Christmas is just not a possibility to have it in that same mm. way. So to be able to give them something extra around this time of year is yeah, definitely is valuable. Because the day we were there, we literally had a bed. They gave us bed covers. I had three plastic plates, three plastic cups. I think my friend gave me some knives and forks. The first night I was there, we just had nothing. And it was right before, it was the day before Christmas Eve. It kind of brings it back, it brought it all back going there. But it was good because now I appreciate everything I've got and I appreciate how far I've come. Like I had no confidence. I had zero confidence then. Like, I wouldn't have been able to talk to you guys like I am now. I wouldn't have been able to go to, like, the festivals and meet people. Like, I was, like, a bit, quite a bit of a mess back then. But, yeah, it's, re it's really reminded me of how far I've come. So, yeah, I'm really pleased I went there. Yeah, so that was really nice. It was really, it was really nice to give back. And do you know what's been really nice? I actually didn't expect um, to share this, this with you guys today, did mm. I? It's like, it was completely unexpected, but I just thought, do you know what? It's part of my life. I'm, I'm not ashamed of anything that's happened to me or where I've come from. It's part of my journey and everything that's happened has made me the person I am today and it's everything that's happened has made me stronger. Yeah, and it feels good sharing it with people because, you know, there might be people watching now that, you know, you're in similar positions. Or you know someone that's in a similar yeah. position and maybe you can help them as well. Mm. So that's it for another video guys, we've got to get away and get some Christmas preparation stuff to do, we've got lots of wrapping of presents haven't we? Yeah I was going to vlog me sorting my bedroom out with all the presents and everything but it looks like, it doesn't look like Santa's grotto, it just looks like someone's chucked Santa's, a load of... Santa's cellar. 
Santa said it looks like someone's just chucked a load of boxes in there. So we've had to look things delivered. Yeah. There's like wrapping paper everywhere, all sorts of things. It's not just sorting out for Christmas, we end up sorting out everything else as well. So we take on more than we can handle. Yeah. But it's all part of the fun of getting ready. Sort, we're sorting out our wardrobe because there were things in the bottom of the wardrobe. And we were like, we need that space to hide presents. Yeah, and then we have to shift that to there, there, to there, there, there. <sighs> ongoing thing yeah so we won't we won't show you guys that we don't want to give you a headache or anything yeah. so but thank you for watching today's video we really really appreciate it just before we finish up though i've got a shout out for one of you lovely free gang who has requested them and today's shout out it goes to fam build potato and they say phew every video you guys get up to several different things i guess we do jojo is always so funny crazy as in a compliment and just lovely you guys are as well. He must have inherited it from you. Aww. Yes, he did. I always have notifications on and been here since 62K. Oh, thanks so much. Cool. Also, could I get a shout out? Please, fam. Of course you can get a shout out, fam, Bill Potato. Thank you so much for watching our channel and requesting a shout out. And if any of you guys ever want a shout out in an upcoming video, leave it in the comments below. We do one every video. If any of you guys are new to this channel and you like following our lives and seeing how we come back jet lagged and then up producing food and corns at new poos and we would love it if you subscribe <laughs> and if you're already subscribed hit the notification bell so you kept up to date when we do upload videos and we will see you guys in the next video peace, peace out, out.